Hello and welcome to www.collectingluxurywatches.com. Today we're talking luxury watches and uh, I'm reviewing my entire collection to explain why I bought particular pieces. And today I want to talk about one of my favourite pieces which is my Audemars Piguet Ultra Thin Dress Watch. Now this is a, an amazing piece which I just absolutely adore and um, basically what happened is I, I've got my Holy Trinity Patek 5107 in white gold I then bought a Vacheron vintage 1960s dress watch and um, then I thought to myself well you know I would like one more dress watch to have the Holy Trinity trio so I started to look around for a, um, an AP thin dress watch and um, because I had my, uh, my Vacheron, I started to do a bit of research. And what I discovered was, in the 1950s and 60s, Jaeger Le Coultre, combined with Vacheron Constantine and Audemars Piguet, started to, um, to make movements which they could all use together. And the, the first movement that, um, that they used was the K1001 movement which is the same movement that's in my Vacheron uh, 6405 dress watch. The next movement in the Ultra Thin series was the K1003 movement or using Audemars reference 2003. So I wanted this this next next version of that movement and uh, the AP version um, is, is a 1.6 millimeter um, I think 1.64 millimeter mo movement and it's it's really really amazing and um, I just absolutely adore the movement itself there it's so thin just so amazing the only um, mechanical wristwatch that was thinner was by La Salle which was a 1.1 millimeter movement um, and um, that that movement was actually adopted by Vacheron later on but there were some issues with that movement because to get it to run properly it, it, it had some reliability issues and uh, I'm still doing a bit of research about that piece because I certainly am considering adding a LaSalle ultra thin mechanical um, watch to my collection because it, it, it's, it's such a great story to that type of movement but getting back to the AP the AP itself there um, is quite amazing because as soon as you say AP, Audemars, uh, Audemars Piguet, people automatically uh, think of the huge Royal Oak offshore chronographs. They think of the the um, the large um, pieces that, that that AP has released. But I mean, the the thing, interesting thing is, Audemars Piguet had a long history of making ultra thin dress watches. This 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 watch here is just absolutely amazing. It's in 18 karat yellow gold. Uh, it's just, just, just so classic and beautiful. It's, um, it might be considered a bit small by today's standard, but I think if you're wearing a, a, a beautiful suit uh, with French cuffs, it's certainly not out of place. It's just a beautiful piece, and uh, I absolutely adore it. Um, it's the reason I've added it to the collection is to have the the Holy Trinity trio of dress watches and. Um, the, the movement, I bought this watch solely for the movement itself there and it's just, just absolutely beautiful. The, the dial on this piece is a little bit down and uh, I'm sort of humming and hawing um, should I get the dial repainted or should I just leave it and uh, another option is to try and get a replacement dial from, from Audemars but the, the prices on anything Audemars that you need is very expensive and um, I think I'd probably be looking about twelve hundred dollars for a dial which is um, a lot of money considering for this wristwatch here itself um, you know the value on them because they are a little bit small and a little bit out of vogue the, you know you're certainly not going to recoup coop that value there but I mean look look it's it's, it's a beautiful watch I love it I, I didn't buy it for as an investment I bought it just to enjoy the the beauty of Audemars Piguet and the the ultra thin dress watch and I've I've been very fortunate that this piece is a uh, came with its box so I've got a box a AP box for it and it's just it's just just a, a gorgeous piece to have in my trio because my trio of three uh, dress watches I've got my my loud and uh, and um, modern Patek Philippe 5107 
uh, that's an automatic with a date and a, and a center seconds. I've got my Vasher and Constantine, which is a 1960s with a sub second at the six. And I, I wanted the third piece to be ultra thin. I wanted it to have just minute and hour indicator, no no seconds. And I, I also wanted it to be um, that famous thin movement that Audemars Piguet is famous for. So that's that's why I chose this piece. And um, I, I think it's just a classical piece to have in, in, in the range there. And I, I, I absolutely adore it. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, I've tried it with a, a brown strap and a black strap. I think it looks a little bit nicer on an aged black strap, actually. Um, so I've, I've, I've just recently put a, an aged black strap on it. And it's just just elegant and subtle and and it's 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 um it, it's 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 a watch from a bygone era i mean the the quartz revolution kind of um upset the apple cart with the beauty of an ultra thin dress watch but i think there's a lot to say about ultra thin and um the interesting thing is all these things seem to go in circles and and it probably won't be long before thin is in again um these these dinner plate specials that people wear i mean do you really need to watch the size of a clock? I mean, it's just ridiculous. But this Audemars Piguet, I just think, is a classic piece of ultra-thin history, and it's just just a gorgeous piece to have. And um, I I love it. Um, this watch doesn't get a lot of wrist time. I, I tend to um, um, I probably love my Vacheron and my Patek just a smidgen more. So it, it it's it's a little bit of a shame. It kind of uh, I love it in my collection, but I I don't wear this one a lot. And um, I suppose, you know, I, I should probably wear this piece a bit more. So there you have it, my Audemars Piguet Ultra Thin Dress Watch with 2003 movement. And um, I think it's just an absolute stunner of a piece. Uh, just, just absolutely gorgeous. So thanks very much for watching this video. And don't forget to come to my website, www.collectingluxurywatches.com. Thank you.